Hello everybody, here we are with Soil Mechanics and Foundation Engineering and we are talking about the index properties of soil. Here you must have heard or must have performed only the moisture content by oven drying methods but there are many other methods as well. Though we will be discussing only the method that you have been using, I'll give you a bit of outline of the other methods so that you know about it in a better way right so here right over here what we have is the index properties right and here there are totally about five types of methods that we have for determining the index properties of soil namely they are water content procedure in which you use the oven drying method and then there is the sand bath method then the alcoholic method the calcium carbide method and finally the pycnometer method so these are the few methods for taking out the moisture content or the index properties of soil so now what else do we have to do is here we are going to discuss the water content that is by your oven drying method only and that is IS 2720 part 2 1969. So here we go with the procedure of the oven drying method. Here what actually we have or what actually we need to take out is we need to take out the amount of water present in the soil and the amount of dry soil so when, first of all when we collect the sample right from the field it has moisture in it in neglecting the moisture uh, neglecting the sample and only keeping the moisture or the amount of water that is present in that soil we need to know that and apart from that we need to know the total sample of the or the field sample of the soil multiplied by 100 that's how we take out the moisture content over here we have w as a water content that is the moisture content and w mw is the mass of water that is the water that is inside the soil present then we have the mass of oven dry soil and mc is supposed to be the mass of the empty can and m1 and m2 i have indicated as mass of can plus wet soil and m2 as the mass of can plus dry oven soil so this is the few things that we have and the moisture content is as m wet soil minus m dry soil divided by m dry soil into 100 so this is so here what are we going to do we are going to take the weighing balance and name two of our uh, containers 133 and 120 131 and this is the soil sample that we have in with us and this is a digital balance and first of all we will weigh the container which holds the mark of 131 and we are going to note it down and uh, take the weight of it simultaneously so these two containers are around here 131 and 133 and here we take the weight of the balance of 131 which is 11.62 and we note it down in a table right then we take the other container 133 and over here we are going to note it down in the table of the empty can so in case you are using a container with it you have to use the container both ways if not 
then you remove the container then you take both the observation without a container now we are adding the soil in it for soil i'll give you a bit of precautions at the end of the video here we are using the hand to take out the soil and we fill the sample of the container with at least half level of the container up to two third level of the container so now we are taking the weight of the soil along with the container and we are going to note it down and the other one you have to keep in mind that which container you are using and which container heading under you are going to write the observations then after that we are going to take it down to the oven here the oven is a thermostatically controlled oven and the temperature varies or rather should be set from 105 degrees to 110 degrees centigrade so oven drying sample is kept for about 24 hours plus minus half an hour meaning 23 and a half hour to 24 and a half hour now we remove the sample from the oven and we are going to weigh it once again take care that the sample or the container which is the right one we are using and we note it down finally into a tabular form so here we have the table form the can 131 133 can weight was 11.62 and 130 33 was 11.14 can weight plus wet soil was 44 45.44 and 44.07 now the dry soil was 41.76 and for the other container 42.02 so therefore the mass of water of 131 was after subtracting the can weight of wet soil minus the can weight of dry soil that comes up to 3.88 grams and for 133 it comes up to 4.05 grams so here we have the two readings in which we have calculated the amount of water that is present in the soil and now we are going to simply just convert it into a percentage form so to convert it into a percentage form the formula i have already given you below uh, right in the beginning you can just put it down into the formula and i'll do it for you as well and we'll take out the final reading here one thing that has to be noted is that the temperature should be constant at 107 to 110 degrees centigrade it should be a thermostatically controlled oven and when we are collecting the sample right from the field the sample should be co contained or rather kept in a plastic bag so that in case of uh, very dry weather the evaporation of the moisture doesn't take place right so we have to take few other precautions and as we gradually move on we'll go with it now i'll give you a final uh, solution for this uh, practical and i hope you must have enjoyed the practical and in case it suits your needs and your benefit it has benefited you then do subscribe subscribe to this channel and write to me as of your union if you are missing out anything or i have missed out anything and what you need so my best wishes to all of you one second and uh, let's come with the final solution and i'll bid you goodbye